Hello and welcome to Big Red Journeys. I am your host, Big Red, and on today's odd and bizarre journey, we're here at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo in San Diego. This is the first expo of the year for the Oddities and Expo tour. They're going to go throughout the whole country. There's like about 20 different locations that they're going to stop at. But in the expo, there's going to be everything from the macabre, skeletons, things that are preserved, pickled animals, uh, pelts, even some cool artwork that matches the vibe and the genre that is oddities and curiosities. This is the first time I've ever been here, so I'm excited. I am a fan of uh, you know animal specimens coming from a science background. I do appreciate nature, life, bones, articulation, anatomy, things of that nature. So I'm definitely intrigued and looking forward to seeing some of that, those types of items. So if you care to follow along with me on this journey, let's go. Just like Hannibal Lecter does, you have to wear a face mask. It's your choir. Kicking off the tour for the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. Here we are the weekend of January 15th in San Diego. But here are all the different listings for their uh, travel visits where they're going. Next up is New Orleans, Louisiana, Atlanta, Georgia after that, Seattle, Washington, Portland, Oregon, and ending off in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So check it out, see if there's one near your town. Got a cute little bar scene over here. Got some looks like a rat, some sort of bird over there smoking his life away. They're pretty cute. And I do love these right here. A little jackalope butt in front. That is cute. I just imagine that being like some sort of bookend. And I found it, the mythical Una Beaver. For you monster lovers, here's some pretty cool piece of work. Resin hardened pieces on top of wood. Very nice. You got a xenomorph from Aliens, the creature from Black Lagoon, some zombies. Oh, look at that. Thing from the Fantastic Four. Pretty cool. And this very large, life-size version, at least up until the mid-torso of the creature from the Black Lagoon. This is actually something very unique and quite exciting. These are actual pages from books. I mean, look at this one right here. An engraving from a book from 1687, Gods of the Ancients. The sign of Leo, bull by the horns. Look at that. Over 400 years old. That is crazy. Even older, this one. Prophets and the Men in the Fiery Furnace from 1493. Look at how well it's done. Amazing. It's good to see my old friends, Velvet Apparition. They're here. This is your first Oddities and Curiosity, correct? It is. It is. Yeah, we met back at Dapper Day a couple months ago at Disneyland. We had a great time there. So told her about it. She had to sign up for Oddities and Curiosities. Yeah. So definitely check out her website. I'm going to put the website up here right now. And she's based out of L.A., right? Out in L.A. Yeah. L.A. area. Yeah. So she comes up with some really great, unique vintage. Uh, with her wax kits. She's really known for making the, the old-style wax steel stamps kits, brushes, mirrors and a whole bunch of other cool vintage stuff very nice always good seeing you the Museum of Marvelous Mutations, a little bit of a uh, sideshow attraction where you're going to see things like, you know, uh, mutated animals, or things like ones that come up with like double heads, one eyes, uh, and some other, you know, like world records and types of just natural oddities. Unfortunately, photography and videography is not allowed in there, so I won't be able to show you anything. Also, something I found interesting is that they were offering taxidermy classes during the expos, I'm assuming this is probably at all the other locations too. This one in particular, you were able to make your own two-headed duckling. But just so you know, you can come in and learn how to do some taxidermy if you like, an additional cost of course. And then throughout the day at all the expos, they have performers, sideshow performers, stunt performers, uh, talented people do their stuff here on stage. Uh, there's three performers for the San Diego Expo. We'll see if we can catch all three of them. And actually, there's one that's about to start here shortly. So let's get in here. I want you to put that bag with that light bulb right there on the stage. And I want you to give that light bulb a good smash. Perfect. 
Perfect. Good. Hand me that baggie. I'm going to fish a big, funky, sharp, shift up piece of glass out of here, and I'm going to do something I highly advise none of you to follow me to do. I'm going to eat it. You want to get up in your clothes leg? Yeah. At this booth, I found something that really caught my eye. Baron Scritches von Birdgut's The Hypoallergenic. It's cute, but you know what? It kind of reminds me of the Duke of Weaselton. Weaselton! Duke of Weaselton. Doesn't it kind of give it a little bit of vibe right there? I love it. It's pretty cute. But I really like what he did here with this alligator skull. Put a little kind of painted on there. Almost looks a little bit like Scrimshaw, but... Very cool. I love it. These are pretty cool. Goblets that have a candle inside with some gemstones. Very nice. For you cat lovers here, Braden Duncan creates some cool little artwork that has some of your favorite movie characters replaced by cats. Oh, you even got a, a Christmas Krampus cat. This one I really like. This one's got all the different types of ghosts available. In different movies, TV genre. Even got Patrick Swayze in Ghost. The Ghost of Christmas Present, Past and Future. Nearly Headless Nick. Oh, there's Hatbox. Bruce Willis's character from The Sixth Sense. Of course, Casper can't get wrong with him. And Slimer. Oh, look at this. Feel the dreams back there. And of course, Yoda. And Ben Kenobi. In case of emergency, break glass. Got your own little vampire kit there. Steaks, mallet, mirror, vials of garlic and holy water. Good to have, just in case. This large booth here tends to be very popular. I've been noticing they have a lot of taxidermied, a lot of mounted animals, pelts for sale. Just been popping all day that I've been here so far. Pretty cool, a little a rattlesnake necklace. Need a little coin purse made of a natural toad? Right there. Now these are very interesting. I love it when I see like Herculean beetles. Green jade beetles, different types of insects, moths, butterflies. They're very well displayed here. Oh look, even some tarantulas. Look at that. These are pretty cool necklace pendants with an actual bee inside of them. You can even get some pins and some bracelets. Now these ones are actually pretty interesting because obviously they're mounted butterflies, but they're in front of these like holographic foil versions of uh, tarot cards. Nice. 
So these I found really interesting. Look at this. Butterfly wings. That they actually turn into like earrings or necklaces. Dipped in resin. Very pretty. Very beautiful. Love it. Like even with some of the blue, the iridescence going on. I love that. Very nice. This is definitely something you don't see every day. Specimens that are uh, diaphanized, which essentially means they kind of get bleached down and they get colorized. So you can see like particular ligaments, blood vessels, veins. Very good for anatomy and medical studies. But here's one of a bat. Look at that. Very clearly done. You can see the intricacy of the webbing and the veins and everything. Very nice. And there's some other specimens here, including some fish, some rats, meese, birds. Very cool. And something I really found very interesting were these pens with a diaphanized fish inside of them. I might have to give me one of these before I leave. Okay. Coming across the booth, blood and resin. They have some unique art here. Some art pieces, jewelry pieces, this beautiful little piece right here. But everything here has blood from the actual husband and wife couple who own this business. This is their art pieces. But they also specialize in these little kits that you can purchase, prepay, have someone draw the blood for you, deliver it to them, and they can make custom pieces for you. It's a way for like uh, you know couples to share something special. They make wedding bands, specialty jewelry pieces like that. And just very, very unique and interesting. This one caught my eye immediately. Look at this beautiful shadow box. Let's see if we can get some of that glare off, but if you can tell, a very ornately painted coyote skull vertebrae. And of course, you know that moth right there. Made famous from the movie Sounds of the Lambs. Beautiful woodworking too on the corners, but she's got some more options over there too. I'm kind of digging that red one right there. You know me with red, I like that. And I fell in love with this piece. I actually think about getting a custom made piece. But you know me, I love my rock hyraxes. It reminds me of my dog Pablo. We always make fun of him for being a little part of rock hyrax. But look how beautifully painted she did. It's very nice. And at first I almost thought it was kind of like a turtle by the way that the front portion of the, the snout looked. But remember, these guys are related to elephants. So that could explain a little bit of the trunk shape to it. So I had to pick up this piece of item here for those who know me. You know, I used to play sports in college and everything. Unfortunately, I had some bad knees. This, believe it or not, it's a patella, the kneecap from an actual human. And they also have some other items here, pretty cool. But this company called Brightside Studios out of Fort Worth, Texas, they got some unique medical uh, bones. Uh, I mean, they got pieces of human vertebrae, uh, the top of a skull. I just figured this would be great on my desk, a little conversation starter piece. So I picked it up. And don't forget to stop on at the official merchandise booth of the expo. Some pretty cool shirts over here. Nice sweater good zip up right there pick up some pins and stickers and some badges of course well that is going to do it for today's journey here at the oddities and curiosities expo in san diego at the del mar fairgrounds i had a blast i hope you did as well too getting a chance to watch the video we walked around saw some very unique items taxidermied animals mounted animals uh you know medical oddities natural oddities the some beautiful artwork as well too and just that blood the blood one that was kind of interesting you know the little custom made piece with your own blood that was that was definitely unique strange and unique but overall if you like this video first of all give it a big thumbs up second subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and third hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever there's a new journey that comes across on the channel and as always feel free to follow me on instagram at big red journeys so for me to you thank you and then I'll see you on the next journey. Bye-bye now.